Hello and welcome to this video. I am Bhushan Desai from Smart Reporting Development Team. This video is about creating a new custom view in Smart Reporting and the goal is to show you a simple business case from beginning to end. Smart Reporting is not limited to the out of the box views and reports and you can create custom view and enrich them as you want. Views can be created on existing forms or on the custom forms. Basically, view creation has two major steps. One, selecting the tables you need from your database and defining how data in these tables are joined. And second, defining which fields you wish to make available from these tables. So in the next demo, we will take simple business case where Remedy Admin would like to create a report which shows all the users with their support Log on to Remedy with Smart Reporting Administrator user and open Smart Reporting application. Navigate to Administration, Admin Console and expand the Views section and click on Add. From the provided dropdown, select the source system as AR system and category as General Views and click to continue. As you see on the screen, on the left side, you will have the list of tables available. On the middle, you have a canvas and you have on the third, you have options to give a name to your view. So I'm going to join the two tables. One is called CTM colon people. So I have searched for it and dragged it onto the canvas. And the other table that I'm going to use is CTM colon support group lookup. I have searched for that table and I'll drag that table onto the canvas. Now we will select the fields from this table. So click on properties, expand the columns and search for the field called remedy login ID that we'll use into the CTM colon people form. Now click on the properties of other table and select the fields that we wish to join. So I'm going to select support organization, support group name and company. Now we have selected the fields and we'll join these two tables. So click on create new join. So I know since the person ID is column, which is common between two tables. So I have in the drop down, I have searched for the person ID. from the left table equals to person ID on the right table and click on add. With this, we have joined the two tables, save and close. Now click on step two on the top banner. Now, if you see, we have the two tables and the respective fields. So we will have these tables of uh, fields move to the respective categories we have the list of available categories on the middle if you want you can create the new custom category so click on edit category create new category let's say i am giving a name as custom category let's say add save and close now i will move these four fields that we selected to the category called custom category that we created so my custom category is available. So now drag that fields to the custom category and the remaining four fields. Yeah, we have selected the fields and dragged to the categories. Now click on step three and click on save. If you want, you can give a name. So I'm giving a name here as custom view and save it. With this, we have successfully created a custom view based on two tables. If you want, you can create a report, test report and onto the custom view. So click on create report. It will open up that custom view with their fields that we selected. You can select those fields and drag it onto the canvas. Now we also created a test report and 
to see whether the data is available for all those columns. And here we have the data available for all the fields. With this, we have created a custom view and also created a test report onto the custom view. Thank you for watching this video.